Hey, good morning. Welcome to Hobby Evolution. Already up to episode number 30 and uh, happy Sunday. No big topic to talk about. However, uh, in the hobby world, there's some crazy stuff going on. Um, If you haven't caught it, the uh, Facebook group Scammers Exposed, um, the admin ran a Raz for his car. Um, I'm not going to go into details because I'm no longer um, in the group. I left the group on my own accord uh, because the guy who's actually razzing the car um, wrote an article, asked for an opinion, asked for opinions. I shared constructive feedback um, and he argued with me. Um, and I said, I responded that you asked for feedback and I offered it. Um, he then muted me. Uh, before he muted me, he actually went to his article and took out what I suggested. So he f- he followed my feedback, deleted what he wrote that I said, yeah, you may want to uh, take that out. And, and then he muted me. So I said, you know, screw it. I, uh, I'll just leave the group on my own. Um, he's... I'm not going to share any more opinions, but it's a great read if you want to go in. Um, so many things happened with with that Raz. He's trying to Raz off. I think it's a $21,000 Raz for a car. A lot of shenanigans. Um, Sports Card Radio actually did a, a write up on the on this particular group and the admins involved. It's a it's a good read. So check that out from Sports Card Radio. So that's all I wanted to to share on that topic. Um, In better news, in in better topics, I received two packages yesterday. Um, One I actually have not opened yet, so I'll open that live here this morning on Hobby Evolution. Um, The one package I was eagerly awaiting was another piece of memorabilia. Uh, I shared the game-used bats I bought a few weeks ago. Um, Same seller um, selling off his uncle's collection of game-used memorabilia. Uh, This particular auction uh, started out at like 100, I think it was $110. A pair of game-used cleats worn by Hank Sauer, who was the National League MVP in 1952 as a member of the Chicago Cubs. Wow. That's uh, that's a pretty unique, really cool item. Um, would look good in one of those cases from, from Michael's craft store, um, put it on a shelf. So um, I actually entered uh, like a high bid of, I think, 200, $225. And I thought that might be low, um, but I didn't want to pay more than that. Um, surprisingly, I was the only bidder, so I was able to get these cleats for $110 uh, plus like $8 shipping. So about 108 well, a little more than that because of tax and stuff. So say $125. These are actually part of um, the Paul Hill collection. That's the COA. Uh, Paul Hill, um, and I actually had to, before I bid on this, I wanted to, you know, look up the COA. I wanted to check out, you know, what where this came from, where these shoes came from. Um, so I'd never heard of Paul Hill until I, I Googled the name and with game used memorabilia, he's like the pioneer of game used, uh, baseball memorabilia. Um, he started collecting it back in the 1940s. Um, Paul Hill. And there was one other name I uh, can't think of off the top of my head, but, uh, two men back in the 1940s, started collecting game used memorabilia and it really didn't start game used memorabilia really didn't start becoming in vogue until the 1960s into the seventies. Um, so he was really a pioneer, um, in the game used field. And now, you know, look where it, where it has come today. So these were originally part of the, uh, Paul Hill collection. So I'll show these off. The laces are tied together. Um, so obviously a a lot of wear to these see on the front, um, you know, back in the fifties, uh, sour is on the, uh, you see Wilson here, um, trying to get a good angle. Um, there we go. So Wilson, um, 
on the on the bottom you see the cleats and look how how aged and look how far cleats have come along um so i thought that was a really cool item may run to michael's today and and get get a case i have to get some other cases as well for for other stuff so um that was a, a fun a fun item um hank sour game used cleats from uh it doesn't specify when these were worn, but um, back in the 40s and 50s, players would wear cleats, and based on the wear and tear on these, uh, these could have been worn for several seasons, where now um, players probably only wear cleats for several games. Um, some Cubs cards came. Um, a PW in these were sent... Uh, uh, non-machinable so you set the 55 cent stamp plus the uh the ounces um because it is a little there's there's more bulk to this package than your typical pwe with a single card uh these are from ray michigan and uh i'm familiar with with that um because i think these are from jeff if i'm not mistaken um and uh, I, it, it's funny, my repeat traders, you know, if I see it, it's not named, I can tell just by the by the city in Ray, Michigan. I don't think there's too many traders in Ray, Michigan. So uh, he writes a note, Bo, more Cubs doubles from recent purchases. As always, need nothing in return unless you want to purge some Tigers. And it is from from my buddy Jeff. So I will be sending some Tigers his way. Um, and what he does is he'll buy a lot of boxes of of older stuff like junk wax era stuff. Um, so we've got 93 Fleer, Greg Maddox. Um, we've got Chuck McElroy, Sean Bosky. Um, Sean Bosky, there was a game used bat as part of this collection of Bosky, which is kind of unique because Sean Bosky was a pitcher. So I actually thought about bidding on one of those. George Bell, 93 Fleer, flip side Dave Smith, Mike Harkey. My guy, Sean Dunstan, there was a Dunstan game used bat, but the opening bid was really high on that. <clears throat> and I didn't want to, I'm not a bat collector. Um, I just collect bats. Here's Heathcliff Slocum and uh, Dwight Smith. I only have about five or six in my collection. So some new tops, Caratini and you Darvish, who's having an awesome year for the Cubs this season. So I uh, picked up another win yesterday. So a nice, let's see, there's two. Oops, four, got six, eight, nine, ten, eleven Cubs from Jeff in Michigan. So I think that puts us getting close to 487,700. So um, getting close to that 490,000 mark. Um, somebody had reached out to me and said they had quite, oh, actually one of my bulk traders who I uh, meet with at the uh, shows in Chicago, David, um, he lives in the Chicago suburbs. Um, he actually makes some trips up here um, to, to Madison. Um, he's going to be up here next week at some point. Um, I think he said he has about five or 6,000 Cubs cards. So I'll be uh, putting together some some cards for him. So that'll be a nice um, in-person trade to, to bulk up and get pretty close to that 500,000 mark because that should push me up over 490, um, maybe 491, 492,000. So that is all I had for today. Short show for episode number 30. Um, coming up today, I did my yard work yesterday, so I'm going to uh, focus on, on more trades. I did send out, um, if you're waiting for some trade packages, um, I'm about two weeks behind. Um, so I was able to get uh, probably about a dozen packages out yesterday. Um, my problem, the reason, usually I run a week behind Saturdays typically are my trade day um, Saturdays and Sundays. The reason I'm a couple weeks behind is, well, I spent some time um, at my brother's cabin last weekend. So that took away some time. Um, plus a couple of the, the larger trades um, I didn't have uh, at hand um, all of the cards ready. So I had to do a lot of sorting. Um, so, uh, that set me back several days just to compile enough cards to complete the, um, the bigger bulk trades. Um, and in doing so my, uh, finished, uh, area here in the, uh, in the basement, uh, is, is filled, uh, not as crazy as what you see behind me, but, um, the floor is, is stacked with piles of, 
of baseball cards because I was actually sorting not only for um, the immediate needs, um, but for um, other um, trades that I know are, are coming down the pipe as far as bulk, um, Astros, Red Sox, Yankees, uh, White Sox, uh, Tigers. Um, so some of those that are I'm low on and and need to bulk up, I was I was stacking up for for those teams as well. Um, and it's always fun because I can find some from some cool stuff. And um, I'm also catching up Brian out in Arizona. We've done several trades. He's looking for golf cards, and I I found a, a small stack of golf cards. Um, and I know Bean, 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 uh, Ken from Bean's ball card blog. Um, he was asking me about some NASCAR stuff. So I have a bunch of NASCAR, but they're just in boxes behind me, not marked. Um, so it's kind of when I start sorting that I'll put those aside for him. So, um, that's it for today. Have a great Sunday. Um, obviously no mail will be arriving today. So, um, tomorrow, if I don't come up with a topic, um, maybe I'll open some more old baseball card packs, uh, hobby evolution episode 29 yesterday, we opened up a pack of a jumbo pack of 88 tops and a single pack of 1989 tops. So that's in yesterday's episode of hobby evolution. So that's it for today. Have a happy Sunday and we'll be back again tomorrow morning.